Congo police officer was shot and killed. Other officers found her wounded at 81st and South Blackstone in Avalon Park around 1.42 this morning. They grabbed her, put her in the back of a squad car, rushed her to the hospital where she died. Her identity has not been released. There are no details on what led up to that shooting. Mayor Lori Lightfoot said that she spoke with the officer's family at the hospital. I won't speak for uh, the mother, but I can tell you that she poured everything that she could into her child. No mother wants to wake up to the tragic news that their child is dead and dead to something as awful and tragic as gunfire. It goes without saying, but I've directed the superintendent to spare no expense to make sure that we find the people responsible for this and bring them to justice. Mayor Lori Lightfoot said the officer was young. The family is asking for privacy. Show the ABC 7 I team learned that Chicago police detectives had some cooperation with potential witnesses to that deadly encounter with Officer Preston. Those witnesses then helped lead detectives and investigators to two men and two women who are now under arrest. It was an hours long standoff on the city's south side late Sunday night. And there was about 12, 14 police cars on the north end of the block. SWAT officers surrounded a home near 77th and Bishop, blocking off access as neighbors say police shouted commands for hours into the night. We have the building surrounded. Come out with your hands up. Sources have confirmed to the ABC 7i team that standoff ended with four people in police custody in connection to the shooting death of one of their young colleagues. 24-year-old Chicago police officer Ariana Preston was shot and killed in her front yard as she returned home from her shift at the far south side 5th District. Investigators have released few details about what may have led to her shooting. It weepens for me to think that she's gone. Still too shocked and distraught to speak on camera, Preston's aunt posted this message to Facebook Sunday night about her late niece. She just was doing such a great job and this, this happened to her. I, it was unbelievable. Ariana Preston was supposed to be graduating Loyola with a master's degree in criminal justice on Saturday. Now purple bunting hangs in memoriam to the young officer who was killed just three years into her policing career. Sources say that four people of interest are being questioned. CPD surveillance teams were following one of the suspects last night and arrested him moments after he got into the backseat of an Uber with another woman. Other suspects were taken into custody after a SWAT standoff in a building near 76th and Bishop. Pictures taken by the Uber driver show that a gun was recovered. Police reports say that it was a semi-automatic 9mm pistol. It's unclear if that is the same gun used to kill Officer Preston. We spoke to that Uber driver who says police surrounded his car within moments of that passenger getting in. All I saw like a minute after that was lights and police uh, personnel jumping down from their cars, you know, coming to, surrounding my car front and back with their guns pointed at, at my vehicle. Now that Uber driver was uninjured. He says that he was placed in handcuffs for a short time until officers were able to sort out that situation. As for charges, police uh, formal charges have yet to be announced. We do expect them sometime within the next 48 hours. We are live from Chicago Police Headquarters. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Charlie. Okay, this is what we actually really should be protesting about and the policies that we should be for. It's gonna be highlighted in the story. So let's read here. Preston was shot during an exchange of gunfire with two people who were apparently trying to rob her, a source said. So she was double teamed. The attackers initially drove past Preston into vehicles and then came back around to pull behind her, a source said. She fired in self-defense and two assailants sprayed gunfire, striking her twice and also grazing her. At least one of the attackers appeared to have a gun that was converted to fire automatically with a device commonly known as a switch, a source said. The shooting was partially captured on home surveillance video. So um, this video is out there somewhere. Uh, she was double teamed. Uh, with one having an automatic weapon, which means she was definitely probably overpowered. Uh, Preston attackers are suspected of robbing other people around the time. A source said late last month, police issue an alert warning of three similar robberies in the area. Quote, in these incidents, the victims exited their vehicles when another unknown vehicle arrived and multiple offenders exit and approach armed with handguns and demanded the victim's property. According to the alert, the offenders then returned to their vehicles and fled. 
Hours after the standoff ended, a neighbor of one of the suspects described him as a menace. Quote, I'm not surprised at all, said the neighbor who asked not to be named. Well, I wonder why, because he probably doesn't want to lose his life in retaliation. Uh, the suspect, a 19-year-old man, had lived in Auburn Gresham for two years with his mother and younger sibling, the neighbor said. Again, uh, can you guess the skin color of these individuals? Again, since, since the left is so obsessed with skin color. Again, I can only guess and imagine what the skin color of this individual might have been. Although he had never seen drugs or guns at home, the neighbor said he's a typical thug. Typical thug who has been in and out of jail. Police had been called to the home three or four times a year. He said, I hope he didn't kill the lady, but I'm glad he's off the street. The neighbor said the block, mostly single family homes with video doorbells is typically quiet. He said there's always one bad apple. He added and he was the bad one. Court records show the man's first adult arrest came in July 2021 when he was caught with a gun equipped with an extended magazine after police responded to a shot spotter alert and stopped a car in Grand Crossing. While in custody, he spat on a cop and tried to kick another officer. According to police records, the charges were dropped in November 2021. Yeah, so charges was dropped, right? Again, this person clearly uh, is a criminal committing crimes, you know, assaulting, spitting on police officers. They dropped the charges. The same thing. This dude threw his own mother down a stair. Threw his own mother, tried to hurt his own mother. And these lunatics on the left, they think these people can be reformed. These people can't be reformed. These thugs cannot be changed. They should be locked up. They should be off the street. A 20-year-old woman who was also taken into custody during the SWAT incident, was previously arrested in April 2021 and charged with a misdemeanor count of having a gun in her bedroom without a valid firearm owner's identification card. Court records show the charge was dismissed in January 2022. The suspect, who was taken into custody during a traffic stop, a 20-year-old woman, was arrested in December 2021 and charged with a misdemeanor domestic battery for allegedly punching another person and pulling her hair at the group home where they lived. The case was dropped in February 20. Don't prosecute them until so they finally kill somebody. And in this case, they killed a police officer while allegedly trying to rob her. There you go. Another one just happened again. Where is Black Lives Matter, the organization and its supporters? When a black young 24 year old woman who is a police officer in the city of Chicago was gunned down and murdered by a black person or a criminal. Black Lives Matter protesters are not protesting this deed the evil that is in the hands or curated by the hands of this organization called black lives matter has spread so bad that the evil doers are praised and placed as monuments in the city while those people who work hard to see that people are safe and are living a good life are shunned or ignored a 24 year old young woman who seeks to make sure that her city is safe and good for all lives to live is gunned down by a murderer. Where is Black Lives Matter protesting now? Or those people who like to say Black Lives Matter and protest about it. Where are they now? They're silent. In your silence, you raise a banner for evildoers and wicked people. But the good die young, and nobody stands for them. All lives matter. All black good lives matter. See you on the next one.